Today I'm heading out to Gunsight, which is part of the Hood Mountain Regional Park System. This is a strenuous hike. You definitely want to be in shape, although now that I say that I do remember I took a buddy of mine once forgetting how steep the climb is and uh, he wasn't exactly in shape uh, and he managed to do it. It was definitely a workout. Now there are two entrances to Hood Mountain. I'm coming in from the south side, Highway 12 to Pythian Road. We're going to head up Pythian Road. There's another entrance on the north side that you can take also. Um, this is one of my favorite hikes, one because it's a really good hike, it's not just a, a walk around. And number two, the views from Gunsight Rock are spectacular, I mean they're really really nice, especially on a clear day. Now I just turned left on the Pythion, and um, this is a road that I really like because it's just very small, windy, and certain places actually comes down to a one lane road. I remember my first time coming up here as to whether or not I was actually on the right road. So as you come up here, uh, you are on the right road. You just want to take Pythion, stay to the right here on this no outlet sign, and keep on driving. The goal today is to get from the parking lot here from the Pythian Road exit, come up these trails. We're gonna end up on the Hood Mountain Trail, which is gonna take us to the Hood Mountain Summit, which is 2,730 feet. Uh, from there, we'll be able to go and take the uh, Gunsight Rock Trail to Gunsight Rock Overlook. Total mileage here is approximately four miles and then you gotta come back down, so four miles again is gonna be a total of eight miles. Uh, Hood Mountain is a regional park, parking is $7 in the lot, dogs are allowed, and one of the things I like about this place is that it connects to Sugarloaf. Uh, Sugarloaf is a state park, so dogs are not allowed, however, they do connect, and one of these days I wanna park here, uh, hike all the way across the uh, Nat Kemper Trail, which is a ridge trail, into Sugarloaf all the way down to the other parking lot here and have somebody pick me up or carpool, go with a couple people carpool. Uh, I think this would be a great trip. I haven't done the mileage before. I'm not sure exactly how far it is, but it would definitely be a great day hike. Although the parking lot is relatively small, this one's kind of out of the way. So there's typically plenty of parking. For the ladies over here are Porta potties. They don't have restrooms, unfortunately, but they do have porta potties. And the trail is going to be right back here. We're actually going to go out on the street first and walk up the road um, past this point. It's actually a private road, um, but it's very, very steep. So get ready to hike or get ready to, to suck some wind as soon as you get uh, up the trail. All right, let's go. I did mention that the uh, trail coming out of here is pretty steep. The one thing I didn't mention or I miscued on back in the parking lot was that you actually come up this little single path through some houses, um, through some private residential, so you wanna be quiet. Then you will hit the actual road, which is here behind me. And it is quite steep. You don't really get a good sense of how steep this is, but regardless of how in shape you are, you will be a little winded walking the, walking up this. All right, let's go ahead and head on up. I've reached the point what I consider is the trailhead. That's where the pavement turns into dirt. As you're coming up the actual paved road, you'll notice some other trails on the left-hand side, the Lower Johnson. If you want to take it, go ahead. It's just going to be an interroute route to where you're coming. And we're going to head up this trail here. And... This is where all the fun goes because now you want to make sure you have good traction on your shoes because this is dry, especially in the summertime. It can get really dusty, powdery. You could do this in tennis shoes. I've done it in tennis shoes. 
you just want to make sure that you have good traction uh, again because of the steepness and just because of everything else now let me flip the camera around you've got flip the camera around you also have some more trails i'm just going to stay on the fire road i'm actually going to take this fire road almost all the way up however there are other trails if you want to take them to the merganser pond feel free to do that but i'm just going to head straight up this fire road about I don't know maybe a third of the way up and as you can see behind me the trail is pretty sparse once you get up here uh, you really lose all the tree coverage if you take the fire road now there are other trails that you can go you just need to check the map you can go to the Santa Rosa Regional Parks and uh, do a look for gun site and you'll find a local map and there are a number of trails I think next time I might actually do the scenic route and uh, that'll give you more shade. This is simply going to give you a more direct route if it's your first time up here and you're not comfortable with directions following the fire trail. Makes it pretty darn simple to uh, get up there. A uh, couple of things. Because this is a strenuous hike, and I would actually say strenuous because I don't know if you can tell, but I'm glistening right now. Um, you want to make sure you bring extra water. So I filled up my pack this morning have a lot of water if you just go to the local 7-eleven and grab a small bottle of water think you're gonna be okay if you're not you'll end up leaving here de de dehydrated right. I'm getting a little higher I'm guessing maybe halfway up this is one of the first places I definitely like to stop and take a look I mean behind me the views are, are beautiful um, but here in front of me are some other great views what I like about this is that Back there, you got all the houses, you got the highway. Here, it's just good old country. <sighs> Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I tell you, the one nice thing about this hike is the breeze. Sonoma County is notorious for a nice coastal breeze. You know, on a warm day like this and sitting in the sun, it is definitely nice. Now, behind me, we do have some options. Uh, we have another fire road, and if you check out the post behind me, you'll see that it actually says gun sight. So you want to make sure you follow this one to the right. Didn't go too far. However, behind me is another split in the trail. And uh, if you stay to the left, you're going the wrong way. So instead, you want to stay to the right and go the right way. You want to take the Hood Mountain Trail. And I'm guessing this right here is probably a good 35 degrees at least up. And, uh, whew, let me tell you, my calves are burning, lungs are good, thirsty. Um, the other thing I gotta tell you, because this trail is pretty steep, it's hard pack and it's dry, it's slippery in the summertime. I've been out here in the wintertime also after it rains, and it is very, very slippery. Uh, so, again, bringing the right shoes is really, really important. Uh, Whew, just to keep yourself from slipping. All right, I'm gonna focus on walking. Now, once you get to this point, and that is, there are trees. Uh, trees mean shade. shade. Shade is awesome. That means you are almost to the top. Now, it's just, the screen really doesn't do it justice. Um, at the very end is a very steep section, and that's where we're at right now. We need to climb it. It's relatively short. And once we get up there, we're actually going to hit the uh, top. Unfortunately, along with shade comes flies. I had some mosquitoes down at the bottom. No mosquitoes up here, but the flies are definitely out. So let's go ahead. I don't know if that do any justice at how steep this is. Oh. All right. Let's uh, yeah, flip this around. Oh. You can hear my feet I'm trying to get traction. I'm actually on my tippy toes, just trying to dig my shoes in. You know you've made it to the top of the trail when you come to the sign over here. It's got another trail, but there's a big clearing behind me. Let's see if we can get it. That means you're at the top. One would think then that uh, you'd have these beautiful views. Gunsight would be right there. No, that's not the case. You know how uh, you ever take a car ride 
and uh yeah, it's kind of a long one and you ask mom are we almost there yet and she says five more minutes and that's kind of where we're at right now we got to go across this opening here down a single path i would say we got about another 10 minutes or so in front of us but uh stick with it because the views are worth it right around this corner here oh uh, should be up oh, there it is all right gun sight we made it let's uh flip the camera around Take a look. Oh, all right, if you are a little scared of heights, uh, just kind of be careful. This is not the uh, smoothest ground here. Oh, damn, flies are still going. Oh. Yeah, we gotta climb up this little section here. But at the top is the top. Uh. All right. This view is totally worth the hike. If you're up for a little adventure, feel free to hang your feet over the side of the cliff while you enjoy the views of Sonoma County and the Bay. Uh, as I zoom up here, what you have is the Bay Area. Unfortunately, it is a little, it's a little hazy out today. And um, with the naked eye, I'm able to make out the Bay itself, but I'm not able to make out any of the bridges, which on a clear day you can. And then as we pan down to the right, we've got the Highway 12 corridor. Uh, we've got Glen Ellen, uh, as we keep on going right, we get into Oakmont, and we just keep on following Highway 12 down, and we'll end up in Santa Rosa and, um, you know, 101 Corridor. Uh, but these are the views up here. The other thing that I really love, or one of the things that really stuck out of my brain the, the first time I came here, were the birds. And right now I'm not seeing any birds, unfortunately, but they will be flying around and uh, actually there's one down there I don't know if we can make it out or not but they're actually we're so far up right now that the birds are typically below us not very often do I actually see birds flying overhead all right who is this hike for well this is definitely for somebody who is up for something a little bit more strenuous and technical than most of the parks around here in Sonoma County Definitely want to be in shape climbing uphill right now. Uh, the views are totally worth it though. If you're looking for, I don't know, two, three hours maybe, round trip with a nice little break at the end, this is definitely worth the time and energy. All right, everyone, take care. My quads are burning from that steep ass hill. Thank you.